Now on Thursday, January 26th, at around 9 p.m., a 312-foot cargo ship struck the Egner Ferry Bridge, causing two sections to collapse. Now this bridge connects US 68 and 80 from Marshall County to the land between the lakes, and around 2,800 vehicles cross this bridge daily. We're gonna to talk to Paul Reister, district biologist down here, to talk about, you know, first of all, it's bizarre to even think about this whole thing. As we sit there and look at it, it's, it's still got the road wrapped around the front end of it. But really, seriously, you've had time to think about this and talk to folks. How's this gonna impact a guy who wants to fish certain parts of the lake? I'm sure it's going to impact some people, but it's probably just going to displace them where they actually put in. You know, Fenton boat ramp is over there. A lot of people from Marshall County cross the bridge to fish from that boating access point, fish the LBL shoreline. Uh, but they can put in here at Ken Lake, uh, where we're at now. Good boat ramp. There's a boat ramp just downstream of us uh, at Cherokee. So there's other boat ramps that can be used. I don't think it'll stop people from fishing. It's just going to be an inconvenience. Now. Um you say they have actually closed the Fenton ramp as of, as of now? That is correct. I found that out yesterday that the U.S. Forest Service has closed Fenton access to, to using that campground, that parking lot, that boat ramp. Um, it's going to be a, a lay down area, construction area as we go through this ordeal I'm told with the bridge and so there's no boating access there and so they're going to close it. Uh, 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 an inconvenience for some fishermen but again there's other boat ramps that can be used. Well, what are some more alternate routes people can take for, for things around here? Well, if, if you're in Trigg County uh, and you want to fish Kentucky Lake, you've got Red Hollow has a good boat ramp, Sugar Bay has a good ramp. You know, it's going to be 30 minute drive, a little extra, but uh, still get to the LBL shoreline from those points here on uh, the Marshall County side. You've got Ken Lake and, and Cherokee Park, as we've talked about, two good ramps. There are parking issues here at Ken Lake. They do have a small parking lot. They've got a, a lot of overflow area. It's just a little short hike over to the boat ramp. And so, you know, from Ken Lake, uh, you go on upstream uh, towards Blood River, you've got Pacer Point. Uh, we've got a boat ramp there that's ours, good courtesy dock. You know, it'll hold 30 or 40 cars. So, so there's other places, again, that people can go and fish the main lake right here. Now, how's it impacting folks that, that are living around here? I would think that it's having great impact on them. You know, there's a lot of businesses here in Aurora that cater to people from Tree County side. There's some that are on the Tree County side that cater to people over here. You know, for, for us doing our fisheries work, it's cut the gateway off for us to go work on Lake Barkley. We're still gonna work on Lake Barkley, we'll just have to drive around a little extra drive time every day. Well, let's talk about the immediate impact right there as far as fishing is concerned. A lot of people fish right there, like you were saying. That is correct, Tim. A lot of people fish in this area right around the bridge for white bass, catfish during certain times of the year. I'm told that the Coast Guard has set up a perimeter around the area, and so we say it's not gonna impact fishing, there will be, I guess, some impact for those people wanting to fish right there around the bridge like they've done in the past for, for white bass catfish.